Hey guys, so in this video we're just going to rebuild the Scott pump. Um, we got a lovely assistant, his name is Michael Gillette. He will be doing most of the work and I will be narrating. So the first thing that he's going to do is he's going to remove all the electrical. At this time, if you have not uh, learned how to rewire a motor or anything like that, maybe you should mark your wires, but um, ultimately you're going to remove the wiring from this uh, um, box here on the side of the motor and you're going to pull the um, the conduit off and actually remove the wires. Now after you have these wires removed we're just going to go ahead and remove the bolts from the base. Now we want to make a, a, a real point here to make sure that you remove all these bolts you can use a ratchet and a wrench. Um, if you leave the bolts on the next step will be uh, lifting the motor off, motor and the pump off the base here and we do not want to uh, have any bolts left on it. it. could rip it out of the floor and cause some serious damage that uh, our maintenance people would not be happy about. So make sure you get all these bolts out and then it's freely sitting there, okay? There should be about six, six to eight bolts. I think there's eight bolts on this uh, particular frame. So make sure they're all unhooked. Now once we get the bolts undone, we're going to go ahead and lift that motor pump assembly off. Now there's multiple ways you could do this. He's decided to use two straps. You can go ahead and use one. You can use a spreader bar. Um, it's totally up to you. You're welcome to even try to um, basket it or even throw a choker around it and uh, lift it off. But that's totally up to you, okay? Um, all that we care about is that you make sure that you're not getting crazy with it, getting wild with it, and it is perfectly safe. Okay? This would be a good time to uh, block up that motor um, and just kind of get it ready. You can use any 2x4. I think he uses um, pieces of steel that he found over there by the weld shop. Um, but you're welcome to use whatever you feel most comfortable with. After we get that thing blocked up, he's going to go ahead and he's going to find the correct wrenches and he's going to go ahead and start unbolting that volute from that frame section in the middle there. Um, so he just goes around, gets them all loose, and then he's going to slowly take it off. At this point, he's going to take that overhead crane and kind of uh, lift up the front end of the motor. He's going to do this by either choking up the or choking on that frame, doing a choke around the top frame member, or just wrapping around with a nice basket. It's totally up to you on that part. Um, just kind of you want to take that pressure off that volute so that you can get it off. Now, sometimes it does get a little bit tight, especially if there is some corrosion or anything like that. You want to go ahead and get your pry bar in there and just pry it apart. Uh, sometimes you may need to use a compathane or like compathane mallet or rubber mallet um, if that isn't enough. When he sets it back down, he's going to grab some steel wedges or shims and he's just going to kind of prop it up there. That way when he's taking off the next components, everything lays nice and flat. He's going to go ahead and you can see this uh, hex head. He went ahead and pulled that nut off. That nut is what holds everything onto the shaft on this particular pump. Notice again that he's got it shimmed down there at the bottom and he's using a pry bar to pry that impeller off of the shaft. Um, again, you might need two pry bars kind of work together to on either side to pull that off. Um, I hopefully by this point it should come off pretty easily. Once you get the impeller off, you're just going to need to pull the spring and some of the shim washers out of there. Uh, make sure that you remember which way they went, you know, shim then spring. Uh, could get confusing when you go back together. Next, you just go ahead and slid off the frame and some of the other um, sealed sealing washers and O-rings at this point. It is a good time to check that dust cover, which is what he just pulled off. Make sure it's nice and clean, not torn, before he goes and puts it back on. Um, maybe put a little bit of white grease on it. That way, uh, everything slides together nice. Um, definitely want to take the time at this point to inspect uh, all the shafts. Make sure there's no worn spots in them. Make sure that all the, the keyways look good and everything like that before you go ahead and we start reinstalling anything. Um, maybe even tap the threads on the shaft. In this clip, we have the uh, wear sleeve and seal for uh, sealing the shaft to the frame. Uh, we kind of we kind of go over a little bit about how to take it apart, you pretty much slide it apart. And then later on, we're going to show you in the same clip, we're going to show you how to, to grease it up and slide it back together and then install it back into the frame. Once you have the uh, seal put in, you can uh, put the frame back together onto the pump. Um, and then it's pretty much just a replacing the parts that as they came off. Make sure that you get the spring in there. Make sure you get the washer in there. 
um, and then make sure that when you put the nut back on the impeller that it's it's locked down tight and sometimes you want to use some blue Loctite now uh, sometimes that uh, impeller might get kind of kind of ornery and won't want to go on you can take a uh, compathane hammer and just tap it a little bit or you can maybe even use the nut to suck it down back down on there okay but be very careful because that nut is usually a brass or a made of a softer metal so be very careful when you're using it to suck it back down or suck that impeller down okay you want to make sure then that you uh, replace all the bolts make sure you're using blue Loctite and not red we do not use red on anything in this classroom um, later on as you're reading manuals and things like that it may call for red um, but not not in here okay so just be very gentle with it um, get it on there make sure that nothing is uh, rubbing or causing any contact and you should be good to go to put the volute back on. Now I want you to notice that uh, Michael's going to take some white grease and he's just kind of kind of put them on all of the mating surfaces. This isn't so much that a, a seal could get by. I think there may be some seals there too but a lot of it's just so that um, as the surfaces come together they're not fighting each other, okay? Now he also takes and he gets his overhead crane, gets it on that uh, frame, picks it up a little bit, that way all these things can easily slide together and just kind of walks them on. Now at this point, do everything you can not to get frustrated. This is kind of a, a little bit of a difficult spot um, that frame doesn't always want to mate up to that volute very easily. Uh, sometimes you got to just play with it and uh, keep going back and forth until everything lines up and you can get the bolts in. Um, he kind of does a pretty cool thing here where he's got two straps on it and he, so that way he can spin the motor so that he can get the bolts in because it's kind of a little bit um, crooked compared to each other, okay? And he's just getting it lined up. Once he gets that uh, frame lined up, he's just going to put the bolts back in, start tightening them down. Remember, when you're doing the final um, sequence, make sure you're doing a cross pattern and you're torquing those bolts down to the correct torque. Um, again, make sure that you use some blue Loctite on these so that way that they uh, do not come out. Make sure that they got the, the washers. I'm, I think these ones just had lock washers on them, but make sure that they're all in place, okay? Make sure you don't forget any of them. All right, so now he's got the pump all put back together. So he's gonna get his straps out and he's going to lift that pump back off and put it back onto the, um, the table over here. Now, notice that he is doing a different style strapping system than he had done previously when he took it off. There's no reason that you can't try something different or play with it on the table, see if you can get the right uh, uh, levelness, I guess you could call it, to, before you go and mount back down. Make sure that you get all the washers and lock washers, get all the bolts back in. Uh, these ones probably don't need to be Loctited um, just because of where they're located. Just make sure they all get back in and they're torqued down correctly. All right, so now we just gotta put those wires back together. Um, previously, I told you guys to make sure you mark your wires or find some way so that you can get this back together um, the same way that it came apart. Now, this video or this class is not really about motor wiring, but if you'd like, we can go over it. We can talk about it for a couple minutes, help you get, it, get you wired back together. Um, otherwise, that kind of completes everything that you're gonna need to do for the pump. Make sure that if you spin the pump, there's gonna be no grinding, no growling, things like that, nothing's gonna fall apart. All the bolts are tight, all the covers are put back on, and you should be good to go, all right? Um, if you have any questions, as always, please come grab me, we'll go over it. If you need, want me to show you some of that motor wiring stuff, please let me know, we'll look at it, all right? Good luck.